in general, if you're having one of these mild nosebleeds, the wrong thing to do is pinch your nose and lean back. You want to lean forward in sort of the sniffing position, pinch your nose for a good 10 minutes. That's very important. The other thing is, if you're having significant nosebleeds, you want to quantitate how much blood, and you see this all the time in the emergency room, they'll come in with towels to show you how much blood they've lost. That's important information. It is important. One thing I want to add, number one, personal story, I always had nosebleeds growing up, and so I did I. all the wrong things. Mm -hmm. I tilted my head back. I think that's sort of the instinct, right? Everybody seems you to You tilt the head back, works. and plus, yeah. I would pinch my nose too far posterior where you know, the cartilage is, and it would just keep bleeding and bleeding. And the thing I've seen the most often in the ER is that, and you've seen this too, is people, when they pinch their nose, you know, they might pinch mild anterior nosebleed. They'll pinch for about 15 seconds. Is it done? <laughs> and all you're doing is pinching, letting go, and, and if anything, irritating them more and more by constantly doing this. So go ahead and, and hold it for a stretch. And we say sometimes up to 10 minutes yes. mm -hmm. to, to really cause that clotting to take place. If you're doing that and you're doing it right and then it still doesn't stop, well then, then that's when you have to go seek help. Mm -hmm. But what's crazy is all of us now doctors, all the mistakes I made with blo uh, bloody noses growing up, every single one, I made them all. And it was terrible because well, it just con you, didn't, you couldn't yeah. watch the doctors back then. <laughs> Well, and, and the truth is, we didn't know any better. So this is one of those where you can save yourself a, a lot of, what do you think really quickly about, for someone with these mild anterior nosebleeds, do you recommend using saline just to keep things moist in there? Well, so absolutely, you check, you know, treat underlying allergies, make sure that your environment is, is moist, use a humidifier if necessary. <laughs> Make sure that you keep that end of your nose right in here nice and moist with yes. either Vaseline or Neosporin. That can make all yeah. the difference, right? I think, the I think a lot of moms and, do this. And right don't pick those scabs. Put the petroleum if, ointment in there, and that's kind of going to Exactly, keep it nice and, and you have to keep doing, keep doing until that scab falls off naturally mm -hmm. on its own, and it should heal over. But having daily nosebleeds, you can't live like that. So obviously get it checked out if you're worried about it.